V2. Last time in our video, we defeated the general. It was a tough battle, and we got a huge boost in power. So today we are going to head towards Planetune to complete the story. Tune. Man, I'm so glad we made it home safe. I honestly thought we were done for. Well, we weren't. We were victorious. <laughs> Everything is all right with the world now, isn't it? I can finally start hacking away at my gigantic backlog of games. Hey, look over there. It's both the CPUs and Gold Third together. Get a load of that. You're right. Oh, Lady Neptune really does look her best when she's next to Lady Noir. What a beautiful pair! Hey! Rom! Ram! As expected, we are super popular, even in Planetune. Hello, strange man. Hey, don't talk to people you don't know in other nations, you two. Especially men. Just a moment, Blonde. Hmm. Isn't there something strange about all of this? Strange? Yes. It's almost as if the people of the city know who we are. That... That's not right. How can that be? As expected of Lady Vert. No matter when I see her, she's always of a sizable volume. I can never get enough of Noir's black pigtails. I want... Oh boy. <laughs> Is it possible they remember us now? Otherwise, it makes no sense. After all, we hadn't come forth as CPUs after the world changed. If that's true, this regained knowledge wouldn't be limited to Planetoon. Let's hurry over to Isti's place. If that's true, she might already have some new info. Welcome home, everyone. It seems you were able to safely destroy Affimax. Well, since I, the protag, was there, it was easy as pie. A cakewalk. Even though you were in a bind, if you're gonna say that, I'll demand 1,000 credits for compensation for my helpful services. 1,000 credits? Uh, yeah, if Gold Third hadn't helped us, we would have been in serious trouble. I also have good news. Perhaps it is because you defeated Happy Max, but the world's missing memories of everyone have returned. But why so suddenly? We haven't done anything special in particular. According to the data I've observed, an attack was recorded that seemed to have literally sliced the phenomenon in half. Which means the cause was that attack. This is conjecture, but humor me for a moment. The gem Afimojas carried bore a negative force that was the exact opposite of Cher energy. You could just feel it, even in that dark aura of his. If the changes in the world were created by it, then perhaps when it was destroyed, its effects on the people just vanished instantly. Oh, as expected of me, not only did I save Afimojas, but I casually saved the world too. I'm sure if the world were to find out about this, my shares would explode to maximum stock. If that happened, I'd probably get pudding and sweets sent in from around the globe. I'd have to deal with pesky fans and paparazzi. Oh, Nip. I thought I'd offer praises to you for once, but I've just changed my mind. You're right. For Neptune's sake. Let us keep this information hidden inside this group. We must not speak of it with the public. 
No way! <laughs> In any case, I am glad that this incident has been resolved safely. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Friend count increased by one. Fujoshin. The innocent heroine. Yes, no, Isha. Ooh, I'm beat. We're at the end, everybody. It all began when we were defeated by Gold Third at the exhibition matches. Please listen to the following messages from Nepgear and others. They're for you! Thank you so much for playing. I ended up showing a little bit of my naughty side, but... Wait! What the goodness is this script? Huh? I'm not supposed to be that kind of character! Get off it, Nepgear. Just read your lines and stop messing around. Let's see, where are my lines? Okay, here we go. Hello, champ. Was I cute enough for ya? Uh, um... Oh, Uni, don't you get caught up in Neptune's ridiculousness. The main game isn't even over yet. Huh? Wait, so this script... I thought we were doing the thank you for playing bit that we always do at the end. Weren't we? Huh? It's not over. No, of course not. This is the second time in the series Neptune's pulled this stupid prank. She has a talent for going wild the moment I take my eyes off of her. By the way, about that hyper-share crystal, how did you create it? Oh, about that. Use these to create a share crystal. These are... shards of a golden crystal? The gold crystal, unlike the CPUs. We cannot absorb the power of faith. Instead, the Golden Summits were gathering faith and converting it into Gold Third Energy. The crystal's role was to supply it to us. Ah, so that's the structure in which you were able to gain power. Did Bisha not tell you this? No, she did not. Oh boy. Even though there are only shards left, they contain a considerable amount of energy inside. If you use these to create a share crystal, they should receive other share power that is normally not available to them. Is that truly possible? Yes, it is. Esha is very knowledgeable when it comes to crystals. I understand that is a strange concept, so I'll let you decide whether or not to believe me. No, I understand. Thank you. Then it's decided. We'll be using all of your gold crystals as well. I don't mind. Although, like Esha, all I have left are broken shards of mine. I also only have broken shards. But if it will give Noir strength, then please, use them. And what about you, Bisha? Your crystal is still in good shape, yes? Of course! Okay then, please, hand it over. However, like us, your power as Gold Third will weaken. Honestly, you run the risk of losing it. In the worst case scenario, completely. Thank you for your interest. This gold crystal will be 10 billion credits, please. <laughs> Money uh, rubber. Huh? Come on, I was just joking. It's a joke. 
I owe Nep Nep a debt so huge that no matter how much I pay her back, I'll never make it up. Compared to that, the power of Gold Third is chump change, especially my own. All right, then we've decided. Did you call, Leshaw? What's that weird thing? <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> Go immediately to Planet Tune's Gold Summit and take the Gold Crystal there. You're both up to the task, right? Leave it to us. Yes, it's no problem at all. And that is what happened. I see. So everyone in Gold Third gave up the source of their strength just for us. Please. Don't spend too much time worrying about it. Also, my power was for Noir's sake. So please, Noir, think of your new power as me, and use it preciously. <laughs> my sister's power is gonna be more trouble to deal with than everyone else's. Mr. General? I see. So, I've lost to the CPU. But, why do I feel this way? I've been defeated, yet I feel refreshed, as if an evil burden has fallen from me. General, are you feeling all right? Steamax. Hmm. Why are you here? I thought I had dismissed you from Atarax. Even if you fire me from the organization, I am your friend. I'm here right now, not as a ninja serving you, but as a friend. Hmm. No. No, no, no. Not only did I dismiss you, but I have broken off our relationship as well. You and I are strangers and no longer affiliated. Therefore, You've no connection to this dispute. The responsibility is solely mine. As such, I know nothing of you. Ever since the summer we met, our fates have been the same. I cannot turn the other way and let you take all the blame, General. Oh, why don't you listen to what I say? Hmm. A friendship between men, how wonderful. I never in my wildest dreams thought I could see such a fiery friendship in this series. I thought I saw Afimojas as the dominant type, but in regards to Steamax, he crumples and becomes submissive. Yes, this could work. What is he planning? I must record this conversation and show it to the friends in my Dojin circle. They caused the world so much trouble, so this much is within an acceptable range. <laughs> what the hell is going on? It is an emergency, everyone. An emergency situation. Hey, it's really shocking if you just randomly blare sirens like this. My ears are ringing. This alarm's for emergencies, right? What happened? It has just been discovered moments ago, but a giant hole has opened up in Game Industry Sky. A giant hole? But you can't open a hole in the sky, can you? A giant hole in the what sky. Could possibly that be could happening be bad. now.
Oh boy, keep it, keep it family oriented, folks. Dimension Neptunia H. The trilogy finale. All right, I'm gonna save the game. 